How you doing, YouTubers? Here we are, uh, silver chart. As of today, the end of closing on Monday, 23.36 and a half. Um, nothing uh, going on in the silver. No bounce back, no volume. Um, volume appears to be dropping off. In the daily chart. If um, this breaks down once again, you could see it go below this balance point. And um, I think if it uh, price goes below this balance point, it will trigger a default in the COMEX because uh, people are fleeing from the paper price and uh, jumping into physical. And um, pretty much dead in the water on this chart. <clears throat> this is a bearish pattern right here. So I suspect it's going to go down uh, possibly this week. So no, no real uh, price increase or decrease. But. Um, no real volume either. Uh, important news. Um, I have a this the uh, truth rises. Coordinated strikes work both ways, uh, suggesting that uh, you know we're going to fight back and buy as much physical gold and silver as we can on May 1st. This is the Sound Money campaign encouraging everyone on May 1st 2013 to give up some kind of luxury they used to having going out and buying physical silver known as the Achilles heel to the bankers. People say, well, there's not that much physical metal out there. There isn't. There isn't. They trade in the multiples of a hundred times the underlying physical. Our goal is to prove that this is a paper Ponzi scheme supported by the U.S. government. In fact, more than likely managed by the U.S. Treasury and Federal Reserve. You see, the government hates competition, and its silver, the people money for thousands of years, began to be viewed as money again. People may actually see just how worthless Federal Reserve notes really are. Today, there is roughly 1 billion ounces of above-ground available silver. Yet because of the openly fraudulent market, there are actually days where 1 billion ounces of silver trade. It's time to end this Ponzi scheme and restore honest money and, most importantly, wake the rest of our fellow citizens up. This is what we need to do. 1. Commit to buying silver on May 1st. But not just a normal purchase. We need to sacrifice. Sell something. Cancel a few restaurant meals. Be creative. Because this is our freedom we're talking about. 2. Share this video and other educational videos produced by us and others with as many people as you can over the next few days. 3. Visit soundmoneycampaign.com and sign up for our campaign update, where we'll keep you updated with videos, important articles, potential dealer shortages, media coverage, and future campaign opportunities to strike back at the beast. We ask that any bullion dealer watching this email us at May1 at soundmoneycampaign.com with any special rate you can offer us for May 1st. We will compile a list and send it to everyone who joins the campaign on April 30th. The banking cartel, by destroying the mining sector and suppressing the price of metal, has numbered its days. The supply line is shrinking. No major discoveries in the past 10 years. We are seeing peak silver in top producing regions like Nevada, and silver producers are beginning to report losses. With supply tight and the supply line crumbling, the cartel has opened itself up. Demand physical silver on May 1st. So there you have it. Everyone needs to buy on May 1st to expose 
the Ponzi debt scheme for good and destroy the bankers uh, control over prices uh, biggest point of that was uh, supply lines are drying up no major new discoveries of silver has been um, implemented in the last 10 years and um, enough's enough <clears throat> great paper on my site right now on the top row paper precious metals precariously close to diversion from physical from Jeff Birick the dollar vigilante um, great paper to read uh, one important thing that he suggests is this is the end of the monetary system as we know it for sure uh, he suggests that it's close to diverging uh, but as you see in the Atmex current market, two thousand thirteen one ounce silver eagles are selling for twenty, or buy, they're buying back at twenty six eighty eight, selling by wire uh, close to thirty one. That's close to uh, thirty five forty percent spread premiums. And I've never seen this happen before where I can sell to Atmex above spot price. Uh, but spot price is uh, definitely not going to be around. Um, or it's not going to be around connected to the paper price. Um, like dealers, miners, and others <coughs> are going to be setting physical prices. And the uh, the paper spot price is going to be destroyed. But um, it's very interesting. This just happened last week. I can sell above spot price to the dealers. Very very uh, time changing. So there you have it. Another great paper is uh, Brother F. John's Silver Shortage on the 20th here he goes over the uh, Jim Willie hat trick letter the uh, golden jackass he goes over all the shortages around the world uh, China observation I want to make about that is China's consumption of gold and silver or just gold is 30, 33% higher than what they're producing so eventually that's going to be a great shortage India's wedding season is coming up and there's acute shortages in India already in southern India um, he repeats the fact that mining production is low, supply lines are, are drying up, uh, Dubai is out of supply, uh, Dutch banks are not filling orders anymore, uh, German automaker are hoarding silver bullion, uh, tons of it, and Switzerland is um, going to be buying a thousand ounces of gold. Um, Silver is at a shortage already. Gold, there is still supply left of gold, but it is certainly going to be drying up because demand is so much higher than it's ever been. Uh, so there you have it. A little update on silver and gold shortages. And um, please comment, please share. Please visit my site, RustiesMetal.com. Let me know how I'm doing. And I hope to talk to you soon.